First day back to school for Austin ISD and parents are telling each other registered nurses will no longer be on elementary school campuses. Those parents also tell KXAN they have had no communication about it from the district. KXAN education reporter Aaron Cargile has been trying to figure out what is changing. Aaron? Yeah, Shannon, there is a lot of confusion, but Seton says RNs are not disappearing. They'll just be accessible in a new way through new technology. We've been digging into potential changes since last March. That's when we reported Seton told AISD they would be charging $2 million more for RNs, which was more than AISD had budgeted. So the two were working on a solution. We've heard nothing since until today. It was the first day of fourth grade for Amber Miller while she was at school. Actually, I just found out this morning. Her mom got an email from another parent saying there were no more registered nurses at AISD elementary schools. And that really has me concerned, especially for a student who has a, a life-threatening condition like allergies or asthma or um, diabetes or seizures or MS. Like her son, now at Marcus in Middle School, who's counted on the school nurse many times over the years. A challenge with health services across 128 campuses is we have unique needs at every school. Seton Healthcare tells KXAN all schools will still have some physical presence of an RN, but it's not exactly clear how it will compare to last year. A new tool, video conferencing, Seton says will allow student health assistants to reach RNs faster. We're bringing nurses to them at a moment's with a click of a button at a moment's notice. So the nurse and the student health assistant are working closer together than ever before. Seton says they have not eliminated nursing positions and the level of care will not suffer. And they build action plans around specific needs for children, whether that's around a, a life-threatening allergy that they may have or asthma or diabetes, all of that's the same. This mom also questions the lack of communication. I would have liked advance notice of this. I had no idea of this change. We truly just in the last few weeks have been able to deploy all the technology to every campus. Seton says it's still a work in progress. Erin Cargile, KXAN News. And parents who have questions can contact their campus nurse manager. Seton is also testing out a program at three high schools, Eastside Memorial, McCallum and Crockett, where students can connect with a physician or health practitioner via video conference to avoid a trip to the doctor. AISD first started talking about eliminating school nurses in 1995 because of economic challenges. That is when they started their partnership with Seton to contract registered nurses for schools. Last year, they had 63 registered nurses and 63 school health assistants.